In this video, I'm going to talk about this new Tecla Open API application bolt check. It gives you the list of the bolts which doesn't have uh, any secondary object. Just for an example, I'm taking this bolt and uh, you know this one is going through the primary and secondary. I'm going to make some change. And let me also take an, another one, maybe this bolt. Now, when I go and inquire this, yeah, so it is not going through this second plate. So let me run this check now. So what exactly it does, it makes the entire model transparent. But at the same time, uh, it gives you the list of the bolt IDs, uh, which have some issues and it highlights uh, the bolt and the, you know, plates in the model. So there you can see. So when I just go and select this one, right click and bolt parts. So there it is. And uh, let me just go and fix it. Now this has been fixed. Let me run this check once again. So this has gone out of uh, selection. That means it is, uh, um, you know, it has been fixed. Now here you can see, I can just select the ID. So it will highlight the bolts. So let me just go and pick and fix this. I'm going to run this check once again to make sure that everything has been fixed. The list is empty now. So there may be a scenario where the steel members may be connected to the timber. In such cases, we don't draw the timber, but obviously we draw the steel member and put a bolt. And I don't want system to pick up that bolt when I run this uh, check. So I'm going to draw the member now. Okay, that's a C-section. I run my custom component. So there it is. And if I run it right now, it's going to pick up this member and the bolts. So there you can see. So what I have done, let me change this option to yes. That means these bolts are going to be connected to the timber. What exactly it happens here? Um, if I go to the user different attribute, you can see it fills some values here in the bolt comment. Okay, and uh, now once we fill that value in the user defined comment, and obviously if I run this check once again, so system is not going to pick up this member. The next I'm going to run this bold parts. What exactly it does, it is going to highlight the uh, members and parts that are associated to the bolt. Now, for example, if I select the bolt, now you can see there are three objects here. So the primary in orange and the secondary um, in yellow. And uh, if you have some additional plates that will be uh, represented in Xeon. So now if I just go and check the next one. So there you can see. So I can run this. If you think this tool is going to be helpful, uh, feel free to get in touch with me. Thank you for watching this video.